When I had an abortion, suddenly everything that I thought I knew about myself, about my life, about the world, about being a woman, changed. Having grown up in Kentucky, I thought that abortion was wrong, that I would certainly never have one. When I found out I was pregnant, I went to the library. <laughs> um, I didn't want to tell anybody that I was pregnant, but I wanted to know what would happen to me if I had an abortion. Cassie Underwood was an alcoholic when she found out she was pregnant. She had an abortion and entered treatment to get sober. Then she found herself questioning whether she'd made the right decision to end her pregnancy. It was a transformational experience in my life to make that choice, never thought I would. And so I had this fresh start where I had to rebuild my whole self. Now Underwood is challenging others to rethink the political divide around abortion and to better understand the women who've had them. When you share a story and it happens to fit one of, one of the two narratives, you get lumped into a political category too. Underwood started studying at Harvard Divinity School in hopes of becoming a spiritual teacher. She wrote a book about her experience and travels the country to tell her story to audiences like these women at a faith-based addiction center. That's my work. It's just to go into every community, in every school, every church, every temple, every synagogue, every sorority, and find the girl who feels like she's sitting alone. I got to my second year of college, and I met this dude. The story I told in my head was that when I got pregnant, it was going to be the best news I had ever received. And it was so, it, I just immediately burst into tears and I just really felt like my life was over. Those weeks leading up to my abortion were so lonely and I felt so ashamed um, of being pregnant. The, the abortion for me was the secret that I was gonna take to the grave. I never wanted to make, have to make that decision ever again. So at 21 years old, I got my tubes tied. Now I'm more open to, to and then after hearing you, I can understand it a lot more. You know, what young girls are going through and things like that. I, mean, I look forward to reading it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. You are such a strength. When I was looking at you... Underwood is now married, and she is working on an online program called Revolution After Abortion. Every single religious space that I entered was really trying to bring love to people who've experienced abortion. It was kind of like I walked into like a high school cafeteria and there's like two big lunch tables and they're like rival lunch tables. And it's like you have to pick a side or you're gonna have to sit alone. When we keep asking should people have access to abortion, we're missing their stories. We're missing that. And that only creates more divide. The pro-choice movement has been fighting for years and abortion clinics are still getting shut down. The pro-life movement has been fighting for years and people have been having abortions for thousands of years and that doesn't change when abortion is illegal. People still have abortions. There are so many people who have experienced abortion and we often can't find each other and I, it's really important to me that we be able to get together and not only connect but be able to tell the truth about our experiences no matter what they are. <laughs>